So the breathing step, of course, we're going to look at the patient's chest. We're going to listen to a quick listen to lung sounds. We're going to look for equal rise and fall, right? We're going to look for the position of the patient. Again, are they tripod, are they laying down? Somebody can't breathe, just you want to sit them upright so they can breathe better. Laying someone down, they can't breathe, isn't good. We want to sit them up. Now, this is what we're talking about life threats we got to watch for. I want to explain to you the difference between respiratory distress respiratory failure, and respiratory arrest. It's a big difference. So respiratory stress is difficulty breathing causing increased work of breathing. It typically has an increased respiratory effort and rate. Respiratory failure, blood is inadequately oxygenated or ventilation is poor. So it is unable to meet the oxygen demand of the body. In respiratory failure is we are unable to breathe in enough oxygen to perfuse the body. In arrest, it, was, it is a result of respiratory failure if left untreated. So we go to stress, failure, arrest. Before this would be like mild symptoms coming on, then to stress, failure, arrest. That's where we're going. Under here is cardiac arrest. Deceased.